What's up guys? So I've been skating ramps for a long time, but I've never actually learned how to do a knee slide. So a knee slide is when you got big fat knee pads on like this and you bail and you slide down the ramp on your knees. And I don't know why, but it, it feels kind of scary for me because I just, I'm used to running out of tricks and I'm a little bit afraid of having to actually slide out of a trick. I th so I think I just put these on backwards. I'm not really sure, but it, I feel like this part is supposed to go on the outside. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So these are some real serious knee pads. They're from 187, they're killer pads, pro knee pad. So yeah, you want some really thick, solid knee pads if you're gonna do something like this. All right, so one thing I know about this is before I try to knee slide out of a trick, I need to learn how to knee slide. So I need to be able to do it on flat, I need to work my way up the ramp until I can jump into the ramp on my knees and kind of figure it out from there. I've got two mismatched shoes on right now. Okay, so yeah, that's a start right there. Just like a flat ground, a flat ground knee slide. So I'm quickly starting to realize the knee sliding out of tricks on a ramp this size is actually more dangerous than running out of a trick because I don't know what I'm doing and I really should have brought a helmet with me because I feel like I'm gonna just like slap my head against the ramp when I'm trying to do like some type of an air and bail from it on this ramp. I can do some early grab airs on here but just trying to bail from it I feel like I'm gonna like throw my board and it's gonna hit me in the head. Uh, so. So wearing a helmet is important for knee slides. If you're skating any kind of vert, this is like, what, six or seven feet, but if you're skating anything this size or bigger and you're gonna try to actually knee slide out of stuff, you need to wear a helmet. Just jumping into the ramp straight on your knees is kind of scary at first. You know, you have to really commit to it and you kind of fall and like float through the air for a second before you hit. You have to just keep your feet flat so you only have to keep your toes pointed and behind you and keep your weight back. You have to like really lean back. If not, you could just go forward to your face on this one. So yeah, you definitely have to really trust it and lean back into it. I feel like getting good at this could definitely help me learn a lot of tricks. So I do need to stick with it. I don't know how so many vert skaters wear shorts because this was really rubbing my shins. Got my pants kind of dirty. I don't know what kind of shoes you're supposed to wear for this because it really destroys the tip of your shoes. I would go through shoes so fast doing this. I, you'd have to have a toe cap for sure. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.